So you might be trying to figure out how you can go through and basically have an auto clicker inside of your iPad. So this is pretty basic. An auto clicker basically will just automatically click random things on your iPad. It's super cool. It's kind of a process though to go and set up. So let's go and get started with it. Now, first of all, the very first thing you're going to want to do is you want to hop inside of your settings application and you want to go inside of accessibility. So hop inside of accessibility right here. Now we want to go and scroll down until we see this option that says switch control. So we want to click into here. And then what we're going to want to do is you want to go into this. There's two panels right here, switches and recipes. We want to first start off with switches. We want to go into switches and we want to add this full screen option that's right here. So if you don't see it, what you can do is you can click on add new switch, which is right here. You want to go and click on screen, which is right here. And there's going to be a full screen option. It probably will not be like this. So it'll be actually like clickable. Click on it. And you want to click on the option that basically says something like select item. So there's going to be an option that says select item on the next page. You want to click on the select item option. And then all you have to do is click back. And you can just click, keep clicking back until you come back into this page. Now, next up, we want to go into recipes. So now we want to click on recipes. And what we want to do is we want to create a new recipe. So we want to click on create new recipe and we want to change this name to whatever we want to. So in this case, we can just go and name this like click or whatever you want to. So you can name it whatever you want to, as long as you just remember the name. And then what we want to do is we want to click assign a switch. So click on assign a switch and you'll see that full screen option that we had earlier. So tap on full screen and then we can go and create a custom gesture. So tap on custom gesture and this is where you can create your auto clicker. So what we can do is we can go ahead and start clicking. So just remember how you want to you know, have it click. So you can go and click in the middle if you want to. If you want to click in a specific spot, you know exactly where you want to click. Then you can go and specify exactly where you want to click at. And you can even go through, I guess that's how much you can do it. So you could just keep doing this however many times you want to. And then whenever you're ready, you can go and click on save. So whenever you, whenever you have it all set up, you want to go and click on save. And then what we want to do, we're almost done. We want to click on the back button right here. We want to click on back one more time to get back into this page right here, right? Now, if everything looks good, you want to click back one more time. And right here where it says launch recipe, what we want to do is we want to click on there and we want to assign this to the custom gesture we just made that name. So remember that name click we just made? Well, we can go and specify it here. And then what we want to do, so we've already assigned the switch. We have our custom gesture and everything like that. What we want to do is we want to specify it so when we basically triple click our home button, it'll run by itself. So we want to click back one more time. So keep clicking back until you come back into your main accessibility panel. You want to swipe down until you see this little option that says accessibility shortcut. So click on accessibility shortcut. Now what we want to do is we want to find this switch control option that's right here or it's somewhere on this page and you want to click on it and you want to make sure there's a check mark next to it. So now whenever we triple click this power button, it'll go ahead and automatically run that you know gesture that we just ran. So now you want to go inside of the app or wherever that you want to go and test this out in. So in this case, I already tested it out inside of my you know notes app. So I'll go and create a new notes and I'll go and just add a little drawing tool so you can see how basically how it would work. So basically, as you can see, if I draw in here, it's going to start you know doing whatever. Now, if I go and triple click this power button, right, it's going to bring me into this panel. What we want to do is we want to click on switch control. And then what we want to do as soon as you see this, you want to tap on the display one time and you will see it will automatically start auto clicking whatever we did. So it's actually pretty crazy because you can see it automatically drew this. So all we have to do is continue to keep clicking onto the display and it will automatically do this. So I think you could just keep doing it like 10 times and it will automatically keep doing it over and over and over again. So you can see it's still doing it. And if you ever want it to stop, so you can see I tapped it like 10 times and it's still doing it. So it's just auto clicking over and over and over again. I think I can even, I can't change the color anymore, but that's basically how it's done. Now, if you want to, if you want to stop it, you can read the instructions up here. You want to triple click the power button. So one, two, three. If you're in a situation where it's not stopping, as you can see, you can click the volume up button, volume down button, and then hold the button, power button to the side and keep holding it down until it completely shuts off. But that's essentially how it works for the most part. It's a pretty basic process and that's essentially how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.